What's up guys? Today we're gonna to be checking out a bunch of speakers from Perlisten. This is the R series. So before we get into this video, shout out to Dream Media, who's also a brand new partner for the channel. So if you guys wanna pick up anything that I'm gonna be mentioning in this video, stop by dreammedia.com. You can find all these speakers as well as their S series of speakers online as well. So the first speaker that we're gonna check out is this guy right here. This is the R5M. M, which stands for monitor, bookshelf speaker, or if you want to call it a stand mount speaker, because right now I do have it on a pair of, of uh, speaker stands. So this is a pretty large bookshelf speaker or stand mount speaker. You know, size wise, it comes in roughly at about, about 22, 23 inches in height. And width wise, we are looking at roughly about nine inches wide. And then depth wise, we are looking at roughly 13 inches deep. Now, if we take a closer look at the front, you can see that we have two six and a half inch drivers here, which is gonna handle all the base. In the center here, we have what is called their DPC array or their directivity pattern control. So we've got three tweeters here. We got one on the top, one on the bottom, and then one in the middle. The middle one will handle the high frequencies and then the mid frequencies will be these guys here on the top and the bottom, which is part of their DPC array, which will handle the directivity so this will minimize the ceiling and floor bounce so you get a nice straight radiated pattern towards your listening position and the frequency response of this is 40 hertz up to 32k or if you want to run it sealed it is at 47 hertz to 32k and if you want to change the speaker from either sealed or ported by flipping it upside down you can see right on the bottom here this is where the port is located. So this does come with a foam plug. So if you want to stick it in there, you can run this as sealed. And as you can see, it is a pretty heavy speaker. It does weigh approximately 38 pounds. So it's a pretty heavy speaker. All right, so let's go ahead, move on over, move on from that guy. Let's go to the matching center channel speaker. So even though this looks almost exactly the same as the monitor speaker, this is actually a little bit different. It does have the same exact six and a half inch drivers, the same DPC array. So one inch silk dome tweeters for, for all three. The frequency response of this one goes to 44 to 32K. So unlike the larger monitor speakers, this doesn't go quite as low, even though it does look pretty much the same. Size wise, we're looking at about 21 and a half inches wide. So 21 and a half inches wide. Height wise, from bottom to top, roughly about nine and a half inches. And then depth wise, we are looking at about 10 and a half inches. And this also weighs a little bit lighter than the monitor speaker. This comes in at 30 pounds, whereas the monitor was 38 pounds. And the speaker is also sealed. So unlike the monitor speaker, you can run that one ported. This one is only sealed. And then moving on to the biggest speaker we have right in the center here, this is the R5T. T stands for tower. And as you can see what I have on this speaker, I have the grills. So if you guys are interested in picking up the grills, these are, I believe, $100 a piece. These attach magnetically. If you want to cover up the drivers, if you don't like the way the drivers look, or you got kids or something like that, these are $100 a pop. So these are optional, whereas on the S series, they come with the S series. Again, these share the same six and a half inch drivers and a three tweeter array here for the DPC array. Just like the monitor speaker, this is also a ported design, which you would stick the little foam plug into if you want to run it as sealed. And the frequency response of this is 24 hertz up to 32K. And then in-room response is said to go down to about 21 hertz. So nearly like a full range speaker. So if you want to run this guy full range. This is also Measurement wise, we are looking at approximately 13 inches deep. So the same as the R5M. Width wise, nine inches. And then if we go height wise, from floor to top, we are looking at about, about 45 and a quarter inches tall. I'll put the exact measurements on screen. And then this is a very, eh, it's not a super heavy speaker, but it does weigh uh, about 58 and a half pounds. And one thing, if we take a look here on the bottom, come down on the bottom here, these do come with, uh, these actually come with some, some bronze spiked feet. 
but if you want to add the ISO acoustics on here, which is optional, this is a separate purchase altogether, but uh, you can pick these up optionally. These are like 300 bucks for four. And then if you want to, to get a pair, obviously it's like uh, 600 bucks. Then if you go ahead, spin around the back of the R5T. So this is the only speaker out of these three that actually have, uh, that are bi-wireable. So the top here is for your high frequency, so your tweeters, and then the low frequency, which would be the six and a halves. This is gonna be the, uh, the bottom portion. And then these are rhodium plated binding posts. So these are pretty robust binding plates. And we'll just take a quick look at the back of the other guys, which are not bi-wireable. So you only get one set of binding posts for these. But the same thing though, still the same nice high quality rhodium plated binding posts. So pretty solid, great build quality in all these speakers. And the R series uses a thinner layer of HDF compared to the thicker layer of HDF on the S series. So the enclosures are not quite as thick and dense as the S series, but just by picking them up, you definitely, you can tell a difference between an S and an R series, I think. And then last but not least, what we have sitting on the bottom of the R5C is this guy here. So let's take a look at this. This is the R210 subwoofer. So this is their smallest of their subs and their push-pull subwoofers. So there's actually a 10 inch driver on the front and on the bottom, there's actually another 10 inch driver on the bottom. So it is in a push-pull configuration. And this does have a DSP so you can adjust the frequency response of the subwoofer. So if we're looking at THX mode, we're looking at 20 Hertz extension down to 20 Hertz. If we're looking at large room mode, it'll play down to 16 Hertz and then small room will play down to 24 Hertz. So you can change that all within the DSP, which you could control right through the iOS or Android app. Or if you want to look up top here, we have the two and a half inch, 2.4 inch LCD touchscreen. This is a passive touchscreen. So it's got a resist resistive layer on the top and then you can access functions such as the menu, the settings, the PEQ, change phase, and, and all that good stuff. You can, uh, you can find the review for the subwoofers on my channel, Shane Lee, for the R210. So if you wanna check out that full review, it's on there as well. And if we're gonna talk about size-wise, this is a, you know, it's not a small subwoofer, it's also not very large either. We're looking at about 15 inches wide. Depth-wise, it's about 18 inches, about 17 and three quarters inches depth. And then height wise from floor to top, we are looking at roughly about 22 inches tall. So again, it's not the, um, it's not the biggest or the smallest, but it's a nice, nice size. And it's pretty hefty. It's pretty hefty as well. So take a look around back. We've got a service port up top. This also supports a trigger. We've got unbalanced RCA inputs and outputs, balanced XLR inputs and outputs, the main power switch, and then the power inlet. And this is powered by a Class D 1.2 kilowatt amplifier. Now, if you guys wanna check out the full measurements on all these guys, the full specifications, you can find clipple measurements on Perlison's own website, or if you wanna to go to audioholics.com, you can also find some, a couple models that James Larson has also measured as well and that's on audioholics.com. Also, if you wanna check out the full review that I've done for the R210 subwoofers, that's on my channel, Shane Lee. And again, shout out to Dream Media. If you guys wanna pick up any of these speakers, R series, S series, subwoofers, you can find links down below in this video's description if you wanna pick anything up. Subscribe to the channel. You can find extra content on our Patreon, which is patreon.com slash audioholics. Subscribe to my channel, Shane Lee. Thanks guys for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. And remember, keep listening. Let's go!